came to us just a few months ago. Um, she was an adult student that, or a teenage student, but she was just adopted from the Marshall Islands. So when she came to us, she was significantly below on a second grade math and, and reading levels. I needed help with my math and reading skills, but mostly my reading skills. We were attempting to homeschool uh, to bring her up to speed. In public school, they advanced her all the way to the ninth grade. Um, when we d decided that there was something going on that was beyond our ability to correct. Bia had no education, no upbringing in the Marshall Islands. So when she came to us, she wasn't able, you know, barely identify letter sounds. I was, I went to Sullivan when I was a kid, so I knew what they, um, they did and how well I did with going there. So we brought her here uh, basically word of mouth and based off of, of Michelle's experience with Sylvan that um, that we should get her uh, evaluated here and what we found out in that evaluation was that we were going to need some extensive tutoring that we can't provide and Sylvan can. When the day we walked in she felt comfortable with the teacher and I think that them wanting her to succeed as much as we do it's, it's huge. So we knew that her goal was to go to public high school. She has a lot of work to do to get to 11th uh, grade level. So she's been coming to us for 15 to 20 hours a week, every week for the past few months. When I got my, uh, when I started improving the reading and math, I wanted to come more often to learn more new things. So coming here and having someone whose sole purpose every day was to focus and really um, deep dive into the very beginning of phonics, working her way up through high school reading comprehension, that's what, what worked for her. She needed that intense personalized instruction. She has far ex exceeded what we thought, you know, mastered I don't know how many um, things so far and um, by the end of all the summer, like eight more sessions, she should be at the eighth grade level. I think what really stood out was when she took her first progress test. As I mentioned, she was barely able to identify her letters and her sounds when she started. And then when she was able to take the test and read the questions independently and in a timely fashion and actually understand what she was reading, it was a big uh, emotional moment for all of us. I, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, every parent, um, needs to know that their child has a chance and you know when you see him progressing through school and you know graduating to the next level and then ultimately getting their diploma that is the true you know they're they're ready to take on the world oh my gosh. um <laughs> It's a proud, it's proud because you, as an educator and someone that works at Sylvan, you really want to see children succeed. And so seeing Bia starting from where she is and progressing, knowing that next year she's going to go to public high school and blend in with her peers and no one's going to know her background story, she's just going to be your average teenager, it's really nice to see that all of our efforts have come to fruition. I would have to tell her um, they did an amazing job teaching me all the things I need to know and how how um, grateful I am to have them as a teacher. <laughs>